Today we're driving the 2023 Cadillac Escalade V. 682 horsepower, 653 pound-feet of torque from a supercharged 6.2 liter V8. It's four-wheel drive. We have adaptive air suspension, magnetic ride control, bigger brakes, and a $150,000 price tag. About time Cadillac did something fun with this Escalade, and uh, for 2023, we have it. The ultimate Section 179 deduction could be. <laughs> Let's walk you around this. We'll show you what it looks like inside and out. We'll take it for a drive, and then we'll give you guys some thoughts on what it's been like to live with this week. Super mean exhaust from this Escalade V. On the outside, it looks mostly the same as the standard Escalade, not a huge difference. Some subtle changes with V badges, larger brakes, revised front and rear bumpers with some more aerodynamic bits, quad exhaust tips, but at a glance, this isn't very discernible from the standard Escalade. Massive front grille. We've got active grille shutters in there to open and close, depending on how much cooling is needed for that 6.2 liter V8. 22 inch wheels with the standard Bridgestone Alenza all season tires. No summer tire option, unfortunately, for this Escalade V. This is the shorter wheelbase seven seater Escalade. Neat little trick to pop the tailgate there. Just press the Cadillac logo. Plenty of storage behind the second row in this Escalade V. This has the captain's chairs, pop up a third row, and you've still got enough room. AKG sound system. New Escalade does look good. Is it worth the $150,000 price tag though? That is a lot of change. Pop this forward, pop back here. Oh yeah, plenty of space in the back of this Escalade for rear passengers. This is easy. You can get a USB-C port back here, cup holders, nice little window to look out of. Very nice. No rear window shades or anything, but you do get armrests and just a massive pass through. You don't even really need to fold these seats forward to get into the third row. Nice big panoramic moonroof, digital rear view mirror. Escalade interior does look nice. Most materials feel pretty good. Plasticky shifter isn't the best. It's pretty much straight out of GM parts bin from models as low as the Chevy Bolt. A couple more cup holders back here. Rear climate control, heated rear seats. Got your wireless headphones. Look at this, we can watch YouTube back here. That's awesome. Nice big comfy captain's chairs. No complaints about the space inside this Escalade. Definitely see the appeal of these for families. Let's pop the hood, take a look at that 6.2 liter supercharged V8. Fuel economy, <laughs> about 10 miles of the gallon in the city, about 15 on the highway, if you're lucky. Wedged back there nicely over that front axle. Fantastic engine, handmade in the Performance Build Center. All right, we'll hop inside, show you around the front seat for a minute, and then we'll take this for a drive. This is a nice looking interior. It is very user friendly, lots of physical controls and buttons, and we get this kind of funky touchscreen layout where it's just a panoramic view with different layers. Uh, kind of reminds me of McMansion roofs or something. <laughs> We've got this display on the left here that shows you your trip meter. You could switch between uh, a gauge cluster view for your uh, center display, map, look at that, augmented reality forward-facing camera, which is actually quite nice. And then for night driving, the night vision infrared system, which is uh, heat sensing. So it'll sense pedestrians, put little yellow squares around them or animals, 
and anything with body heat or exhaust heat from the underside of cars shows up on the gauge cluster, which is pretty cool. Nice heated steering wheel, heated and ventilated seats. Those controls are right here. We've got air suspension that we can raise and lower to access height or slightly higher. Towing controls, physical switch here to change our gauge cluster brightness. Auto up down windows for the front, not the rear. Wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, all that good stuff. No surprises there. Here's what the key looks like. Nicely color matched in radiant red. We've got a couple cup holders hidden right here. The Escalade Cool Box, which you can turn on with this button right there. Keep your ham sandwiches nice and chilly. And this is really clever. Wireless charging with the perfect place to put your phone and it'll just sit there and charge all day long. Nice quick access controls, redundant control here for your infotainment. I love the scroll wheel, super easy to use, really convenient, um, that's great. Only disappointment with this infotainment is CarPlay looks like this on a screen that looks like this. Not much they can do about that, honestly, but it would be nice to see a slightly larger CarPlay display that is dating this infotainment in my mind just a little bit. Here's what our reverse and 360 cameras look like. We've got a bunch of different views. Those are the basic ones. Lots of towing cameras too. Uh, right here, let's see if we go back into park. We have our V mode button right in front of the shifter. Adjustments between steering, suspension, engine and shift, feel, brake feel, engine sound, all wheel drive system. You can switch that between tour, sport, and snow and ice. Uh, no V button on the steering wheel. And then you have your drive mode selector to the left here. You can switch between tour, sport, snow ice, tow haul, and my mode. My mode, I believe I have set to everything in soft except for engine sound, which is in tour. Let's make that sport. Get lots of pops and burbles in sport mode. We'll start off in tour and ramp things up from there. Let's take this Escalade V out on the road and see how it drives. Seatbelt tightens as soon as you take off. I will say this is the best driving Escalade I've ever been in, and for 150 grand, it should be. The suspension tuning is awesome. Uh, it feels a little bit more agile, a little bit lower, but more sporty than the standard Escalade, and of course with that. V8 soundtrack in the back with the sport tuned exhaust and the valves open. It sounds absolutely fantastic. We have 10 speed automatic transmission, metal paddle shifters behind the wheel. It's very nice, easy, approachable to drive and live with. Doesn't feel as big and cumbersome as the extended wheelbase Escalade. Ride quality is excellent. It's a very comfortable SUV to drive. So it's nice that it has that split personality because once you go into V mode, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> An excessive amount of exhaust crackles. There's probably a fine balance somewhere of just the right amount of exhaust crackles. I think this uh, blows right through that and just goes into too much or excessive amount of exhaust crackles. It is entertaining, but I could see that getting old a little bit for both people inside and outside the car. Luckily, you have tons of adjustment with uh, the exhaust valve. You can turn it to tour, which is still pretty loud on throttle. The valves open up uh, and then stealth is super quiet off throttle the valves will close and you won't get all the snarling and crackling but for our purposes under this bridge we gotta leave it in sport
brakes feel nice. There isn't a ton of outright grip and mechanical <laughs> prowess from this Escalade V. It's probably tire limited too. And physics limited. Weighs about 6,200, 6,300 pounds. So it's not light. And you notice back there as we pulled out of that entrance ramp, and whenever you drive this fast, it disables the forward collision warning system. That's kind of cool. At least the seatbelt doesn't tension up like it does in some other Cadillac models. And although the stability control system in this Escalade V is still a little bit intrusive, it's so much better than the regular Escalade. Let's you have a little bit of fun around entrance ramps. It doesn't limit you to 45 miles per hour. We have a lot of wind today on the highway, so we're getting a little bit more NVH wind noise, road noise than we would normally. This is very quiet, very comfortable at speed. No complaints there. Let's see, we actually have some long distance fuel economy numbers here. In the last 658 miles, this has averaged 15 miles to the gallon. Not terrible, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Lots of close ratio gears with this 10-speed auto. Seems to do a pretty nice job making shift decisions on its own. It's a little bit liberal with downshifts sometimes. And it is pretty fun to drive with the paddles. Should we drive around with the AR camera for a little bit? <laughs> Those shifts are just fantastic at Redline. It sounds so good. Get a little bit of steering feel at the limit. Still feels like an Escalade around these corners. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> it is fun. It's super, super fun to drive this thing. Whether you're just cruising around casually or uh, giving it a boot full, it puts a smile on your face. The price tag I think is excessive, but there's a lot about this Escalade V that is excessive and it all just fits the bill. No Super Cruise as standard in the Escalade V, unfortunately. We just get a standard adaptive system. It works okay. But Super Cruise is a $2,500 extra option, something I would definitely check in your Escalade V. Bit of a shame that it doesn't come standard. I feel like for 150 grand, it should, but again, it doesn't. But definitely something you're gonna want. You don't quite get as many pops and burbles over 4,000 RPM as you do below. Sport mode steering is really heavy. We're gonna turn that back down. So for launch control, you need to be in V mode. We're already there. Come to a stop, mash both pedals to the floor, and you're off. It'll sit at about 1500 RPM. <laughs> awesome.
All right, so some final thoughts on the 2023 Escalade V. This is the best Escalade I've ever driven. It's fun, it's entertaining, it drives great for an Escalade. Uh, it doesn't quite compete with some of the other super high performance full-size SUVs in terms of outright grip and handling, but uh, the power here is incredible. The engine sound is incredible. The uh, Just the overall impressive factor of this thing, I think, delivers. It is a super entertaining package, and I definitely think it's about time Cadillac gave the Escalade the V treatment. Um, the V lineup is getting a little bit confusing these days with V Series and V Black Wings. This is, I think it's just called the Escalade V. That's what GM and Cadillac are going with. So a couple things I'd like to see out of this. It would be nice to test one with Super Cruise someday. I still haven't driven a GM product with Super Cruise yet. And uh, I think it would be nice to get a summer performance tire option and improve the handling of this Escalade V just a little bit. I can see maybe why they didn't just because of rollover risk or just outright grip for something this big and high and tall and heavy but uh yeah it would be nice to get a little bit more cornering performance out of your escalade v that said the brakes hold up really well they don't really feel that much better than the standard brakes on the regular escalade but the engine uh, is definitely the highlight here the 6.2 liter supercharged v8 is just a powerhouse and uh i think worth the fuel economy penalty that you'll be paying uh with this Before we wrap up, let's test out this uh, AKG sound system real quick.
I will give it to Cadillac. This AKG is excellent. The surround system just envelops you. It's, it's a pretty cool experience. Definitely one of the better in-car audio systems out there. All right, that's a wrap for this one. Thanks for watching.